Because great apes are so closely related to us, the chimpanzees and the gorillas, and if they've never ever been exposed to a virus like corona, they're more likely to get sick from it because it's a naive host from a closely related parasite, from a closely related host. So it would be a total disaster, and it's very, very important to make sure that they don't get coronavirus from us. Definitely, it could, they, could be, they could die, could wipe out a whole population because it's a viral disease, can easily spread through a group. The additional measures that are being added is um, disinfectant at the, all the different sites, um, encouraging tourists to wash their hands. And the wildlife authorities are also thinking of, um, they've approached us to look to consider the issue of tourists wearing masks. So we're hoping that that will move ahead very quickly. We have also introduced infrared thermometers where our people are able to test visitors who are coming to see whether they have any signs uh, of coronavirus. What the research found is that the seven meter rule was broken almost all the time, you know, almost 100% of the time, like 98% of the time. But what was interesting is that 60% of the time it was the tourists who broke it, and 40% of the time it was the gorillas who broke it. So the gorillas, they're so used to people, especially the ones that have been habituated since they were little. So they, they like to sometimes just, okay, I want to move the people there. They can just come in between the group, the tourists, or come very close. And there's a way that the park staff, we can keep the gorillas far from there. We can threaten them a little bit to keep far. But the reality is people and gorillas are always so close to each other.
That's why we think of other stricture measures that could happen in case you're not able to prevent that close interaction, such as people wearing masks. Um, the research revealed that 73% of people were willing to wear masks. Similar research that was conducted on ability, asking trees for the willing to wear masks three years earlier had shown about 51%, so it's gone up. And I think because at other great ape sites, people are beginning to wear masks, and some of them have visited these great ape sites, and when they get to Windy, they would like to, they expect it. And so that's an area that would really like to follow up on.